The Panama Canal is often called one of the great feats of modern engineering, a man-made 50-mile-long waterway that opened in 1914. It literally redrew the map for the global shipping trade. The canal slices through Panama and allows ships traveling between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans to avoid going around the entire South American continent, shaving 8,000 miles off the total journey. 340 million tons of goods crossed the canal last year, about 6% of global trade in terms of volume. And now, after nine years of work, the canal has gone through a $5.4 billion expansion to make it wider and deeper, allowing passage for larger and heavier ships. Why the expansion? It was essential for Panama to stay relevant in an industry increasingly dominated by larger ships. Many of today's ocean-going vessels are too big to fit through the 100-year-old waterways locks, which are 110 feet wide by 1,000 feet long and 42 feet deep. The new locks are 180 feet wide by 1,400 feet long and 60 feet deep and will allow ships big enough to carry 14,000 containers, compared to those that can only hold 5,000. The expanded canal will also prevent traffic jams by adding a new lane and potentially doubling capacity. How will the expansion impact trade? Some critics suggest that the increase of cargo in the near term might not be able to justify the investment. But a bigger canal could mean larger container vessels and lower costs for trans-ocean shipping. Currently, two-thirds of the container trade from Asia enters the U.S. via the West Coast, moving eastward by rail or truck. The expansion would shorten that one-way journey by sea from Asia to the U.S. East Coast by roughly five days. That would make it cheaper and faster to get consumer goods to big cities along the Atlantic seaboard. And using larger vessels operating with deeper channels could improve the ability of some U.S. exporters to compete in global agriculture and energy markets.